Hey there guys, what's going on? It is your boy, uh, John, and uh, we're going to talk about some comics today. So on my uh, to-do list, uh, I've been talking about like wanting to do like all my comics and my collection and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, I know there's some comic book collectors out there, but we're just going to go through my small collection. I haven't been collecting... Uh, for a long time. I'm kind of a new new comic book collector, but we're gonna go ahead and talk about them So I'm gonna go through my physical collection, and I'll tell you what I read digitally So all right. Well my first one here is the uh, Jurassic Park movie uh, The Jurassic Park movie comic. It's like the film adaptation, but in a comic it's still sealed um, even I know this like you know this doesn't look sealed, but the copy inside is still sealed. So I, I actually haven't read it. I haven't found a digital copy of it, but had to get it. It was eight bucks and um, pretty amazing. Second one is uh, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, Cybernetic Dawn. Thought this one looked amazing as well. Um, definitely had to get this one. Um, eventually, I do want to read the Terminator 2 um, series. I haven't got around to it, but... I just wanted to test it out with this one, and I loved it. Um, it's issue number four. I kind of just got it because I really like the cover. Which isn't the way you probably should read comics, but hey, whatever. I got it. This is uh, Spawn, the uh, Origins Collection, Volume 1. And, dude, I this is amazing. Highly recommend this to anyone looking to get into Spawn. This is the best place to start there's no other way to start it pretty much shows how he became spawn who he was and just overall amazing um yeah this is this is pretty amazing highly suggest buying this for sure you're gonna want this it's pretty amazing so go ahead check that one out um before i get to tales from the crypt uh, I want to start off with Spawn vs. Batman. This just came out like last week or last month. Um, literally, uh, yeah. Yeah, this just came out. And I loved it. I love the cover, the plastic cover. Haven't got around to reading it yet, but I definitely want to get around to it because it looks really awesome. Uh, Spawn and Batman have been fighting and battling for a long time. I thought I used to have the first comic, but I guess I don't have it. I thought I did, but I don't know. I may have got rid of it somewhere. Or maybe I traded it or something. And I'm not sure which one's first, but we're going to go with Volume 1. Tales from the Crypt, the Archives. And I got to tell you guys, these are just phenomenal, phenomenal comics. Very well written, very well produced, just overall amazing. Got the volume one here, says it right there. Volume one, this, I'm not sure which volume it is, but uh, I believe it's from the same people, EC Comics, it is, yep. But um, yeah, these, these are great. I started off with this one, because I saw the show first, and then I didn't know there were comics, and then I found this, and I was like, whoa, there is comics. Read this one a lot of times. Very good. Highly suggest it. It's pretty much just horror stories, but in comic book form. And uh, just really good. If you've ever seen, if you haven't seen the show, highly suggest it. It used to be on uh, HBO back in the day. Really good. Awesome. And uh, so far, that is my collection. That's what I have. So, anyways. Um, so, let me uh, tell you what I do digitally. So if you're looking to do digital comics, um, there's a bunch of ways you could do it. Um, so let me tell you my experience with digital comics. I highly suggest you get a tablet. I don't have it with me. Um, my tablet's probably the size of this book. It's probably the size of this. It's pretty decent. But honestly, the bigger the better. And um, I'd say, yeah, the bigger the better. Um, you don't have to get an iPad. Um, actually, I highly suggest you don't get an iPad. I'd say get a Galaxy tablet if you could. Uh, just because there's some specialty comics, and you can get like an e-book reader. Not an e-book reader, but um, it's an e-pub reader. 
and you could literally read any comics you want. You just have to have them downloaded. Um, but however, uh, not all comics are treated equal. So for the mass comics, if you want, if you want Marvel, there's Marvel Unlimited. It's their app, and you could literally read as many comics as possible. Uh, you don't get to read the new ones immediately, but you get to read like uh, I think they're like a month, a month later. And then you can read them, or I think it's like six months, or something like that. But for the most part, they have all the OG comics. They have all the, the old ones, which are amazing. But I highly suggest Marvel Unlimited. DC has one. Uh, I think it's called DC DC Universe. Uh, highly suggest that one. Um, that one's great, too. If you like Superman, Batman, all those. Uh, if you want Spawn Digital, you have to go to uh, Comixology. Comixology has Spawn, and they have like a bunch of like other secondhand like comics, like little small ones that you probably have never heard of. But those three, if you're looking to get into digital comics, those are the three to get. And then um, if you want like little little other comics, like Jurassic Park has like other comics too, but they're not on co Comixology or the other past to talk about. You have to just download them from Google if you can find a copy and then get an EPUB reader and read them. Like, and sometimes that's what you have to do because they just, they're just not available. And, and that's even if they have a digital copy, because some of them don't even have a digital copy. So, but anyways, guys, that's my, that's my comic book collection. What do you guys uh, think? Uh, do you guys have a collection? Cause I'd love to know what you guys read. And if you have any comic book suggestions, please leave them down below. I'd love, love to hear them. So anyways, guys, I will see you later. Have a good one. It's your boy John, and I will see you later. Bye, guys.